So in this video, I'll be explaining to you variable scoping in Golang. I've opened up my Go Playground window. You can do the same by going to play.golang.org. It gives you some uh, default code, which I'm, uh, which I strongly recommend that you remove it and then you write everything from scratch because uh, as you get into the habit of writing things from scratch, you'll have uh, a much easier time when we get into more complicated programs. So uh, the first thing that you write uh, in a Golang uh, program, as you know by now, is package main and then you import packages from package main. The package that I need for this program is FMT because I'll be printing out some things and uh, print add in uh, the function that I'll be using is inside the FMT package. Then uh, always you have to write func main because this is where the main control of the program lies. And inside func main, I'm going to print out something. So what I'll be printing out will be a variable called i. So I'm going to define a variable int is equal to 42. right? So variable i is of type int and the value is 42. And I'm going to print out the variable from inside my func main, right? And let's see what happens. So there's no surprise. It gives us the value 42, which we have defined already. But what will happen? What do you think will happen if I defined, uh, I declared and defined i again inside func main? So let's try to do that. And I'll say int is equal to, and I'll give it a different value, 23. And now when I run it, I'll see the value 23 and not 42. I mean, firstly, it doesn't give me any errors. And secondly, it's reassigning the value uh, as in it's clearing everything that was there in I and it was replacing that with 23 again. And uh, that's um, called as scoping uh, in the sense uh, the scope of the variable I, uh, which is getting printed here, the first priority will be given to this variable I out here, which is inside these braces inside the function itself. So the very the scope of this i is inside this function. So that's why it's given more priority and that when you print out i, you get 23. But if there was no i here, if the, the i was not uh, defined and declared out here, it's going to look outside its scope, outside the function and it's going to find i outside it and then it's going to give us the value 42. So that's how scoping inside a function works. So uh, you can have uh, the same variable multiple times inside multiple different functions and it will behave very predictably but it's not uh, recommended as in it's best to have multiple uh, different variables with different names inside Golang but uh, it theoretically or technically you could uh, easily have the same function uh, same variable again and again and uh, inside uh, different functions. So this is really helpful because uh, there's no confusions here because uh, there, the score you, you know that uh, you know this i is different from this i because uh, especially with uh, Variables like i, j, and k, which are iterative uh, variables, you will use them in a lot of for loops. So you want to make sure that this i is different from this i because uh, you want to probably start it from zero again, right? For i is equal to zero. So that uh, it works really well in those scenarios. So I hope uh, variable scoping is uh, clear to you. And uh, thanks a lot for watching this video.